Hi, welcome to Nicole Dad. I'm Mark. Hello to all my new subscribers and if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we're going to be looking at a roundhouse steam engine and how we go about setting that up. Before we take the steam engine outside to check it out, you might see my new notice board. I've got it up on their FMR Station House. Do check out their channel. Um, they're a very good channel, family orientated model railway. Also say thanks to Tim. I got my chocolates, thanks very much, although I'm not too sure about the box. So this is a roundhouse Argyle steam engine. Uh, we've modified it and painted it to look like a Denigal engine. So now we're going to get it ready to steam. So the first thing we need to look at is make sure all the mechanism is oiled. What Roundhouse recommends is use um, engine oil because it's uh, slightly thick. Oil like 3-in-1 is too thin and will burn off quite quickly. So you want to make sure all the joints and connecting rods are all oiled. You don't want pools of oil because that will attract dirt and then will cause wear and tear. So there's plenty of oil on there. There's just enough. You can see the sheen of oil on both sides. So the linkages and everything is oiled up fine. We're going to look now at adding the steam oil. So we're going to take this cover off, we're going to do this wire, which is for the aerial, for the radio control. I've already undone the screws, so this should just lift off, and we'll put that to one side. And here we can see all the mechanisms. So this is your gas control, and this is where we put in the steam oil. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen off this here. We're not going to take it off completely and you can see water is running out. We take the top off, which allows air to come in and you can see all the water is now running out. So we don't take that off completely, we just wait till that drips dry and that looks like all the water is now escaped. So we tighten that back up and we can see there there's oil oozing out now. And now we top up the oil in here. Now this oil is quite thick so you need to fill it up and give it time to run down because you don't want to get any air bubbles trapped in there. So this oil mixes with the steam and helps lubricate the cylinders and the interiors. A little bit more. That looks about it. So we'll put the top back on there. So that's oiled up. I've already put the batteries in for the remote control. It's important when the steam engine's not in use that you take the batteries out so they don't leak. So now we'll top up the gas. Well, using the gas bottle like this. This type of engine uses butane only, so it's important that you use 100% butane. And it's just put the nozzle on the connection. It's like filling up a lighter. There we are, that's it full. Now these steam engines are designed that the gas will run out before the water does. So it's a safety mechanism so it doesn't blow up and destroy your engine. Now we're going to top up the water. So the water goes in through here, through, take off the safety valve. What we have here is a big syringe and this is distilled water. 
you need to use distilled water because ordinary tap water will have different things in it that can over time destroy your engine. Let me just take that and fill it up. Right, there you can see it's overflowing. So what we do now is we just take out a couple of mils of water. So that leaves an air space at the top of the tank for expansion. Put the safety valve back in. And put the dome back on. The dome is made from brass, so it's quite heavy. A good thing to have is a pair of uh, good heat proof gloves when you're working with this because when it's in steam all this gets very very hot. There's the cover back on and just putting the batteries in the radio control unit just so they weren't in it and leak when it's not in use. So we'll test the radio mechanism and make sure everything works. Now we can see the regulator should move. There we go. And the reverser is moving. So that's all working. So now we'll go ahead and get her lit. So we're gonna light her. So I'm gonna turn on the gas here. Using this, this is a barbecue lighter. Recommend getting one of these because it doesn't blow out in the wind. It makes it lighting it a lot easier. So we're gonna turn on the gas and we should hear a hiss. And there, did you hear that pop? That's the flame traveling down into the firebox. And now she's ready to steam up. So we'll lift her down and put her on the track. And after about five minutes, she'll be ready to go. So what I've got here is just an oval off LGB set track. Just to set up in the garden here, seeing it's such a nice day. And we'll leave that for a few minutes just to get up to pressure. And then we'll see her in action. You see now she's in steam. So she's ready to move. Open up the regulator a bit. And away she goes. Need to take it easy around this oval because these curves are a little bit too tight for it. So there is a chance it'll derail. With a fill of gas and water, you have about 20 minutes to 30 minutes running time. So plenty of time to have a little bit of fun. So we've had our fun, we've had our day steaming our little engine, now it's time to put it to bed. So the gas will have run out, so that's empty. We need to let the engine cool down, and then we need to empty any water that's left in the boiler. And then we need to clean it, make sure everything's oiled, and then put it away. A um, couple of notes, it's important that you use the oil that's recommended for it, because it can damage the engine. And likewise, use distilled water, because that will extend the lifetime of your boiler. Here we have a model of Railcar 20, which ran on the Donegal Railway. It came to the railway in 1951, and at the time cost £7,885. And it was sold to the Isle of Man Railway in 1961, after the Donegal Railway closed, where it is still to this day in storage waiting preservation.
It has diesel engine and had 41 seats. Hope you enjoyed having a look at the little live steam engine and also at Railcar 20 from the Donegal Railways. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. I need to take it easy on the curves here because they're just a little bit too sharp for it. So I need to go slow around the curves. With a fill of gas and water, she will run for about 20 minutes and we'll do that again.